Wonderfully wonderful people is happening. Uh, Bayonega revealed some of the things that um, Buhari and former APC chairman did to Tinubu. Um, he said, you know, they, they sabotaged Tinubu and the rest. But the truth of the matter is that we all know what happened. You and I know. In fact, Tinubu know who won the election. You know who won the election. I know who won the election. We know who won the election. However, INEC has called results. And according to the law of the land, INEC is the designated agency to conduct an election and call results. However, the result that was called, contrary to what people went out there to vote, we have seen that there may be some megi megi mago mago maga maga where there may be. I say there may be because we've not been able to. However, this is what is happening. APC now is coming out to tell us why they are dealing with some members. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. APC chairman sabotaged Tinubu presidential race by Oniga reveal. One of the media aides to President Bola met Tinubu by Oniga says, Mr. Tinubu won the 2023 election. I know that people are saying he came in distant third. That is their business. The distant third they are talking about is up to them. Presidential election was conducted in this country and the only body designated to call result is INEC. And INEC officially declared President Bola Metinubu, the president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari's regime, however, fought against him. Buhari himself, Abdurrahim, and former, the former APC chairman, the All Progressive Congress, even CBN governor, they all fought against Tinubu. We know what they did. With all that, Tinubu still won the election. Even though our candidate is a member of their party, they did everything they can. They all went against him. Naira change, fuel scarcity, and every kind of way they could go about it in ensuring that there was no election. They ought to have worked seriously for Tinubu, but they worked against him. That's why most of them have no part to play currently in the current administration, not because Tinubu is not working with for them, but because they are ashamed. We have been having fuel all through the country. But all of a sudden, during the election, there was no more fuel. The worst of the two was the currency change. People are complain, complaining everywhere. There was no money. Some people said that they were paying, they were paying as much as 20,000 naira to get 100,000. Nigerians were buying their own money. Public resentment built up against APC and its presidential candidate, Bayo Niga, said, However, Tinubu stood for the people. Oniga disclosed this in an interview with Tribune, published on Wednesday. He attributed Tinubu's victory to God's handiwork, saying Nigerians should accept Tinubu and move on and stop looking for what is not lost, that Tinubu won. I hear people say he came in distant third. Well, he is the president of the country. Deal with it. Nigerians should know that the man who has positioned himself and has given himself to serve is a man for them. They should forget about all this things they are pursuing after go after the real deal and ensure that this this man gives his best service condemning him will not help him to bring out his best supporting encouraging and speaking words of affirmation we help Tinubu to even do better he came in and his and his promise to nigerians was to bring about change this is the change we've all been waiting for it has come Tinubu will fulfill on his promises all Nigerians need to do are to stay with him and be patient. So that's Bayo Niga. He said APC fought against mm -hmm. Tinubu. They did everything they can. And um, today, Tinubu is the president. Whether they like it or not, you know, he said, you know, um, this is what is happening. Um, every single person is beginning to, you know, wonder mm -hmm. and ask themselves. And um, it, it is very, very important. Well, my lovely, wonderful people, it is what it is. And it is important that we look into it. It is important that we begin to, you know, rise up and ensure that, you know, we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Nigerians, we all need need the breath of a fresh air. We need the dawn of a new day and we need to begin to arise to ensure that none of these people, none of these persons, you know, who do not really care for this nation come on board and, you know, uh, be the ones that decides what happened.
you know so it is important you know that we know it uh bioniga is trying to justify you know recently again it has come uh that tinubu won the election but he said uh the old distant third thing they are talking about they should forget about it he said because tinubu was fought against even from his own party and for INEC to have declared him the winner he won you know he said for INEC to have declared him the winner meaning he won that everybody should suck it up uh, Tinubu have started already. They should suck it up and move on, and you know, and accept, you know, and accept reality. Tinubu is the president, and they should stop criticizing him. You know that the criticism is not helping matters. If they really want to see Nigeria grow, that Nigerians just need to accept, you know, what is already on ground and move on. That way, they can quickly make progress that will affect, you know, that will mm -hmm. affect every single person. Okay, so this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And um, it is important that we look upon this and we all, you know, rise up to the occasion and ensure that the right things are done. People who may not be able to, you know, people who do not care for this nation and may not be able to adequately speak out in ensuring that the right things, you know, are people who cannot even look after their, their own self. Some of them are the ones who are now, you know, deciding the fate of this nation. Okay, so it is what it is, and um, it is important that we all look upon this, and we, you know, uh, you, you know, we do what is needed, what is necessary to change the course of this nation and make Nigeria a better place. Don't forget that you have a voice, and so we must all speak up together and ensure that at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes a better place. Every time we neglect the opportunity of making a real change, every time we, we, you know, we have an opportunity to make a change, and we do, and we do nothing about it the truth is that we have left ourselves into the hands of those who do not have any concern for us to be built up as a nation and most of them are basically looking out for themselves so it is what it is you know it is what it is and it is time for us to begin to rise up you know and begin to make a real you know real concrete effort in order for us to bring this nation into the right place remember you have a voice and so every one of us must speak adequately and ensure that um, we come out of everything and anything that will not move us forward. Nigeria belongs to us. What are we doing and how are we going to ensure that we do everything, humanly speaking, possible to change the course of this nation? Remember that if Nigeria becomes better, it will, have, it will, it will not know tribe, uh, religion, region. Everybody will just, you know, we enjoy it. So leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.